Good whatever time of day it is for whenever you're watching this. And welcome to the worst episode of Drinking with Drew yet. In this episode we will be making the worst drink yet, talking about politics, and being generally whiny. As for the drink, I've decided that to best represent our political climate, I'm going to show what happens when everyone has their input. I'm taking several probably uncooperative liquors and dumping them into a wine glass despite the fact that that is probably the least appropriate vessel for this concoction. Three liquors in. Smells horrible. Terrible. somehow getting even worse. Oddly enough, it looks rather appealing, but looks can be deceiving. As you can see, when we try to combine all of these into one concoction, It ends up making me kind of want to vomit. The point that I've decided that this is going to make is probably something along the lines of, you know, this is what we get when we keep voting in the same two dumbass parties. You get something that is much more homogenized and is objectively terrible. I throw away my votes pretty readily. I'll vote libertarian, independent, any various third party that seems like a better choice than the crap that we have in office. On the other hand, I do not find myself trying to start one of the many petitions to secede from the Union. I wish them the best. Uh, the Texas one at last count was closing in on halfway to the needed number of signatures for it to be looked at by the president. I don't know if the people getting these signatures together realize this, but that is all they're accomplishing. 25,000 signatures in your big ass state will not and cannot cause it to secede by themselves. Also, I applaud the, I believe it was North Dakota man, who filed a petition for New York to secede from the Union. That is how you do things. You don't get yourself out of it, out of the problem. You take the problem out of your country.
That is still a terrible drink. The problem with a lot of people that will forever be a problem is that despite the old adage that if you teach a man to fish he'll eat for some unspecified period of time until he runs out of fish in the pond that you've set him up on. I, I don't know. So, something like that. Problem is some people are just too stupid to learn to fish. I was thinking earlier today that my co-workers would be improved if the school system taught common sense and problem solving. Then I realized that despite my best efforts, none of my co-workers that have these issues will ever learn these skills. If every time you have a problem, you insist on running to someone else, it is either because you, A, are lazy, B, are stupid, or C, a combination of the above. Certainly, there are some problems that getting additional input would be helpful. But if it's the same problem every time, and every time you go running to some authority figure or some sort of savior, well then, fuck you. You're never going to learn. I'm not going to teach you how to fish. You're better off just foraging. Still terrible. Still terrible. As you can see, I continue to have this blank area in which I will continue to be writing whatever commentary I come up with after the show. And I welcome any input as to any better choices for this show. Those better choices should not include pouring my various liquors into one glass. Beautiful as the result may be, it is disgusting. Which just goes to show you, beauty is only skin or glass deep. Well, I, I don't know. The glass is much deeper than the beauty of this. I don't think I will continue to drink it after this final drink. Until next time, just remember, you're not drinking alone. You're drinking with Drew. And don't ever mix politics and liquor or all of the liquors in your freezer. <laughs>